Hello, in this lecture, we're going to record what is typically the second transaction within the accounts receivable or revenue cycle. We're going to record the journal entry up here on the left hand side and then post that to the trial balance over here on the right hand side. The trial balance being in terms of the accounting equation in that assets are up here in green, then liabilities in orange, and then the equity section, including capital account and the income statement, revenue and expenses. So here we have our transaction receiving cash on account. Here's the owner receiving cash we're going to assume it came in the mail of course in real life it would probably be a check but the point is that we received the money in the mail for work that was done in the past first question is cash affected of course it is in this case we got cash in the mail cash has a debit balance we're going to do the same thing to it in order to make it go up and therefore we're going to debit cash so there's the debit to cash and then we're going to have to credit something question is what do we credit you might be thinking we should credit revenue because that's why we're getting the cash after all. However, we already recorded the revenue in the past. Why? Because in the past is when we earned it. When we build the client, we build them after we did the work already recording the revenue and recording the fact that the customer owes us money in terms of accounts receivable. Therefore, the second account will be accounts receivable. So we have the debit here and accounts receivable. It needs to go down because the customer no longer owes us that 10000 Therefore, we're doing the opposite thing to it, which in this case will be the credit. If we post that out then, we're going to say that cash is going to go from zero up by 10000 to 10000 And then we have the accounts receivable is going to go from 10000 debit down because we're doing the opposite thing to it by crediting it to 10000 to zero. If we look at the accounting equation, note that assets went up because cash went up. However, assets also went down because accounts receivable is an asset and it went down. This is one of those weird areas in the accounting equation where the assets went up and the assets went down. Therefore, nothing happened to liabilities. Nothing happened to the equity section, even though we received cash because cash is not revenue. If we look at the income statement, we can see that nothing happened to net income in this case. We had 10000 before. Nothing happened in terms of any of the blue accounts down here. We're still at 10000 So although we got cash, cash is not revenue. The revenue related to that cash was earned in the past when we did the work, not when we received the cash. <laughs>